13 years ago that I would be marrying you today, I would have never believed it. I think back to when I was 16 years old and first met you. I thought you were way too quiet, way too nerdy, and that we had nothing in common. In fact, you were the opposite of what I was always chasing after. Although you made every effort 
to win me over by leaving sticky notes on my car, which I never saw until I was halfway home, calling me up to the service desk constantly for returns, or showing up at my job at 3 a.m. just to personally wish me a good day, I still found myself uninterested. <laughs> then suddenly, I noticed something, and it wasn't just the giant size, the, post, the giant poster size note and flowers you left on my windshield saying, I hope you can see this. <laughs> I realized I was rushing home to catch you on AOL so I could talk to you every day. I found that you would remember things weeks, even months down the road that would be insignificant to most, but meant the world to me. And I found that you were incredibly smart and that I was really the nerd. <laughs> But the most important thing that I realized was that you were actually everything I had ever wanted in a guy. After giving you many, many excuses, I finally gave you that one chance you had been asking me for, and now, here we are. Standing here today, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. I am living every little girl's dream, except mine is now a dream come true, and it's even happening in a castle. Every moment spent with you is my favorite moment, whether we're binge watching some ridiculous show, slow dancing in the kitchen, chasing sea turtles through the clear waters of Curacao, or being snowed in on our first trip to Deep Creek, I cannot imagine doing it with anyone else. In fact, the only thing I regret is that I didn't give you that chance sooner. I love that we have practically grown up together, and I am so excited to grow old together. One of my favorite sayings is, grow old with me, the best is yet to be. And with you, Michael, I just know the best is really is yet to be. Many days I question how I even got so lucky to get a man who is so loving, kind, patient, hardworking, and the best dog dad ever. You have always been there when I needed you, like to help me cut out a million random objects for my class or to take care of me when I'm sick, or even to help give our little hamster bean a proper burial in the freezing cold weather as I bawled my eyes out the whole time. <laughs> you've never let me down. No matter the time, the place, or the circumstance, you've always been there. In my early 20s, I hit a dark place in my life, and you had every reason to run, but you didn't. Not only did you stand by me, but you said something I will never forget. I asked if you thought there was a light at the end of the tunnel. You looked me in the eyes and you very seriously said, yes, and if there isn't, I will be standing there with a flashlight. <laughs> it was the sweetest and yet cheesiest thing ever, but I have never forgotten that. Michael, I am so honored to be your wife and I promise to always hate doing the dishes, buy way too many decorations, and go way overboard at Christmas and to cry at every sappy thing on TV since those are the things that I know you love most about me. But I also promise to love you, support you, encourage you, and be your flashlight whenever you need it, just as you always do for me. I know every day won't be perfect and there will even be days we drive each other crazy and might argue, but I'd rather argue with you, argue with you a day here or there than to spend any day without you. I've learned a lot from you over the years about trust, loyalty, friendship, and to always check my windshield for sticky notes. <laughs> but the most important thing I learned is to take a chance, because you never know how absolutely perfect it could turn out. Michael, you're my best friend, and I cannot wait to start this next journey in life with you. I love you to the North Pole and back. Right. So hopefully by now everyone knows that I am a man of few words. Uh, for those that <laughs> may still be expecting a plot twist and to be blown away by words matching the breath and the depth of the brides, stay tuned. I'm trying my best. So Brittany, when I met you at Gabe's over a decade ago, I could not believe the cute little new girl uh, was the owner of that Mustang I always saw out in the parking lot. And I mean, what guy doesn't like a hot girl in a nice car? Um, I really don't know what else I was thinking or what I expected trying to pursue you because um, I don't really like muscle cars, as everyone knows. Um, but like every other guy thinks, I'm sure I told myself, this girl must be different. Um, 
So then I guess I just did silly little things to get your attention, hoping for a chance to show you that I was a better kind of guy than those bad boys uh, that you seem to be so interested in. Um, I poked you as a way of discreetly saying hi, and I paged juniors to the service desk, even if it was for something small, hoping that you would be the one to come up and respond. Uh, but then when you refused to acknowledge that I wanted something more, I pers I persisted by going bigger and being more overt with my attempts until literally you could see the signs. <laughs> um, so somehow it worked. Uh, we finally went on that date to Kilgore Falls and you later agreed to give me that chance. Um, but then you also sabotaged everything when you started ignoring uh, your mom's phone calls. Um, so, sorry Miss Carol. <laughs> But thankfully, she was open to meeting with me, and I was successfully able to do a little bit of damage control and talk her down and show her that I also wasn't such a bad guy, um, and that it wasn't my fault, it was yours. <laughs> uh, so as I stand here today, I can't believe how much has changed. Um, I have said that I was never getting married for so long that everyone in this room probably took that to be true, to be reality. Uh, but despite how stubborn I've been, you've broken through to show me the importance of love and family, and now here we are. Uh, but then it's also funny how things still feel the same. Um, you're still as beautiful as you were 13 years ago, and I still love you as much. And no guarantees, but I'll probably continue to be just as annoying. <laughs> So Brittany, you really got me with the Mustang. You're not that girl that I thought you would be behind the wheel, but you turned out to be so much better in exactly what I needed. You constantly push me to grow emotionally and to experience new things. I love that you care so much for others and that you have the biggest heart. You're passionate about things that bring joy, uh, whether it's for yourself or for others. And I love that we can be ourselves and it just works. Uh, so when I think about our future, I know that you will be an amazing wife. You'll be the best mother taking care of our family and home, and I will always have the best decorated house in the neighborhood. <laughs> Although you think I'm being grumpy all the time, I know that you're just pushing me to grow to be more understanding, and with time, it'll all be worth it. So Brittany, I promise to stay open-minded and to listen to your advice. I promise to be patient with you and to always support your craziness. I vow to always care for you and to always love you. And most importantly, I promise to occasionally allow you to go shopping unsupervised at Home Goods. <laughs> so Brittany, you are my best friend and today you become my wife. I'm so honored to be your husband and I can't wait to see where our journey leads us. I give you Brittany. I give you, Brittany, this ring, this ring as a symbol, as a symbol of, my commitment of my commitment to love, to love honor, honor, and respect you. And respect you. Just as this circle, just as this circle is, without end, is without end, my commitment to you, my commitment to you is eternal. Is eternal. I give you my cow. This ring. This ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my commitment. Of my commitment. To love. To love. Honor. Honor. <coughs> and respect you. And respect you. Just as this circle. Just as this circle. Is without end. Is without end. My commitment to you. My commitment to you. Is eternal. Is eternal. There. You have declared before all of us that you will live together in marriage. You have made a special promise to each other, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, the sharing of vows, and the receiving of rings. By the authority vested in me, by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife.